So I got Nutsy here with me, and hey. uh, we're going off to the Oaks Reptile Expo here in Oaks, Pennsylvania. It used to be not a great show, and I have a bunch of friends that say that it's pretty good now, so make sure you guys join us and uh, stay tuned for that. But also, if you guys can comment below, Miguel Garcia from AEP, his wife has a cool nickname. She, he calls her Turtle. And um, so we should come up with a nickname for Netsy. So com <laughs> comment down below what you think that Netsy, uh, her nickname should be. Be creative. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. So I'm here with Tom from m and Exotics. They have a YouTube channel called Fangs TV. We're gonna link that in the description below. But they have a whole bunch of arachnids and other insects here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool setup. They have a YouTube channel. So you guys are gonna have to follow them now. So this is this is our first time here in, in a long time. It seems to have gotten a lot bigger. Oh yeah, definitely. What are you guys uh, What are you guys passionate about? Like, what are you working on? That's like your favorite species. Favorite species right now would be like the Embalfori, which are the Socotra Blue Island baboon. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, a lot of people see them now. They're a very communal type of species, which is not very common with tarantulas. Okay. Um, it's not like a lot of snakes yeah, or reptiles where they hang out to with each other, right. you know, the tarantulas, they don't get along too Not well. generally, yeah, no. so <laughs> We keep all of ours separated. Exactly, yeah. so uh, that tends to be a little bit more popular right now, plus they're just stunning color on them yeah. too, so. Do you have any? Yes, actually I do. Uh, all right. This one has a yeah. good. It's beautiful. That one's awesome looking. Wow. I like them. How big do they get, in General? Like they're gonna get to around like uh, five to six inches or so in leg okay. span. Um, live to be around anywhere up to 15, 20 years. Wow. For, for females, yeah. Wow. So. Is it a high humidity or is low humidity? What's the? It's like a mid-size. So obviously, like they do come from an island, so they yeah. do have more, a little bit more of a tropical type of climate. Okay. Um, Ground-dwelling species, but. Uh, oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Makes it easy. So, is this like a mid-range? If somebody was going to get one as their first, is it? It's probably like a more intermediate to advanced type of tarantula. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you taking the time, and we'll make sure we'll show yeah. you off a little bit. Yeah, no problem Thank at you. all. Thank you. Maybe we'll be talking about these soon. Yeah, definitely. Know. Thanks. Lichianus gecko, world's smartest, world largest gecko. <laughs> Hands down, I, in my opinion, the best pet. They easy, are awesome. easy to take care of. Very, yep. very sociable. Super easy care. No heat, no lights. Just room temp and fruit paste. Gotcha. And love and snuggles. Yeah. <laughs> and they rub their, rub their heads. This is Jules. She's an island cross. Pink, and we, we, we breed her for pinks. And her babies come out real nice and pink. Awesome. So, I'm listening. That's one of her babies. Even on that. I love pinks. The pinks would be the pink lines there. They love their cork bark. Oh, yeah. Let's put the baby right on top of mama. That's a good picture. So I'm here with Boris from BB Crested Geckos. 
and uh, he's got some lychees. He's got some. You have gargoyles here too, right? Yep, Chihuahua. And Chihuahuas, yeah. I really like Chihuahuas. I, I think they're like my new like favorite gecko out there, to be honest. Um, so there's some really awesome animals. He's over here at the Oaks Show. So you guys gotta come check it out. And uh, do you guys have like an Instagram or yeah. anything like that? So. Baby's crushing gecko. Yeah, so we'll we'll link them in the description below. So definitely some really cool stuff. Check them out. Check out this guy too. We got more pressure than gargoyles. Hey Shannon. Not ready for that, huh? No. You I was wondering if you were going to come up this way or not. <laughs> so we're here, of course we have to stop and see our friend Dominic. He's with Rizzo's Wildlife Center as well, but he also is selling for Serpent by Design. Um, he has a bunch of really cool animals. I know I've shown this before, but he has some unbelievable berms that are just like, you know, can't beat it. So, uh, oh man, you can get in here and see him. But every show, of course. Okay, so what's your choice today? It doesn't matter. You're They're both real cool. Dealer's choice, go on. Uh, I don't care. I'll just, do you mind? No, you're, you're, you're clean. All right, all right. Come on. Of course, I gotta get this Look one. Look at that shot. Oh, good. Took you out. So this, this is an albino pied berm. Burmese python. So these things are awesome. He's feeling a little uh, hissy there, but they're still cool. Young, you know. But what a beautiful, beautiful animal. You never get to see these. And uh, of course, Dominic has a, a couple. So it's, it's crazy. Uh, that's a male. Just, this is a male, so not a female. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. It's all right. The female, <laughs> females are, are safe elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome animals. Um, these guys, of course, we always got to show them off because he has some really unbelievable stuff. You got to check out his other berms. And, uh, yeah, so what? Are, anything else big in, the, time. Anything right. in the, big in the pipeline right now? A lot of lockups, but when you when you talk about lockups, it, it proved to be nothing. So, uh, Talk to me in Hamburg, and then talk yeah. to me in, in the spring. I might be really, really excited in spring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be great. So, awesome animals, of course, and guys at the Oaks show. So, come check it out. Excellent. Thank you, my man. Thank you. So, we're here with Castor Constrictors. So, this is John, and uh, he's got a, a bunch of cool animals, of course. And we saw him at the Gettysburg show, Battlefield. You guys got to be there. Are you going to go to that show? I am. I'll be there with you next time. Are you vending? I am. Oh, he's yeah. vending the next one. That's a good idea. Um, so, I see you know you got candy stuff, you got champagne stuff. What's your big passion this year? This year is the Arroyo, and I really <laughs> love the Arroyo. Of course. The Arroyo I love stuff. the Arroyo, and I was really surprised with the champagnes. I, yeah. A lot of people were sleeping on the champagnes. I started working with the champagnes. I love what's come out of it. The Arroyo, man. The Arroyo is great. Yeah, the Arroyo is one of the sleepers. Uh, I think that it's starting to make its way, especially since we started that Facebook channel or that Facebook uh, group for Arroyo. All of a sudden, we're like seeing all these people that have Arroyo stuff. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, you should jump. Oh, on. I'll jump but on. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of Arroyo stuff out there. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Arroyo, I love hidden gene Woma. You know, that's it's a, well, we, we know, we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've noticed that stuff. a lot of stuff. To, yeah. similar, similar yeah, projects. Yeah. We like uh, the Hinji Moma. Yeah, I love the way it rips apart. You know, it rips apart that pattern, and, you, and like the bamboo in the spider, you get that happening along the torso Yeah. Without any of the spider problems. Yeah. And when you in certain jeans, when you mix them, it really makes everything so crazy busy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we, we like it definitely. So awesome. Well, thank you for taking some time and showing off. Thanks for stopping off. by. Yeah. Thanks for uh, being here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye, everybody. We're here with Bill from B and B Tortoises. And uh, what do you got going on here? We have a coconut crab. Coconut crab? Yep, and it's a young one. Okay. It's approximately two years old, maybe. Two years, okay. Yep. They, they can live up to like 50 years old. I did not know that. Yep. <laughs> and uh, that thing will grow to be about two to three feet long. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and a little bigger uh, than I was thinking. Oh, yeah, you know. Yep, and they'll eat the uh, coconut naturally. They'll they'll climb the tree. They'll knock the coconut down. Yes. They'll shred the coconut husk to get into it, and they'll crack it and get into it. One guy was saying before he was on Guam, and he they watched one for two hours taking a coconut. And it laid upside down. They kept smashing the coconut against the rock to break it. Wow. That's how smart they are. That's unbelievable. Yep. And they, uh, they'll eat fish, shrimp, mice, anything. Anything wow. that, you know, it's a it's a crab, so it's sure. a scavenger. Scavenger, yeah. Yep. So. And do they make a good pet? Like, people like them? Well, we've only had a couple of them, and they seem to be okay, as long as you don't put your fingers in there. Because you... <laughs> If he clamps onto you, he can mess you up, you know. And the well, bigger ones would definitely break your finger. Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Well, it's really awesome. It's something that you never see at a show. Uh, so, very cool. If you guys happen to be here, come check them out. Yep. But a coconut crab. Maybe I'll have to get one for Ryan as a surprise. What do you think about that? <laughs> Comment below if you think I should. <laughs> Thanks. So, Major League Exotics is here. And, uh... Showing off some of their cool animals. This is a Euromastic, obviously, and uh, what beautiful colors. We were just at Scales and Tails. Hopefully you guys saw that video. And uh, they can come in so many different variety of colors. They're very variable, but this one's just beautiful. So we had to stop, you know, and uh, show off Alan's stuff. Just great stuff. You guys never know what you're gonna see here at the Oaks Reptile Expo. So this, I'm trying to film here. 